proper creature throw. Again, seems like a fairly easy movement, but I see people doing this wrong all the time. And you might see this at your local gym as well, and that's probably why you see all these big dudes or some not so big dudes moving a lot of weight on this. First things first, throw the weight on and make sure you got some clips on there. Otherwise, any kind of misalignment and the weights can slide off and you'll be on uh, one of those gym fail videos. All right, so there's two ways you can grip the barbell. One is an inside grip and one is an outside grip. So we always want to remember, if we are gripping on the inside, it's going to work the outside of our bicep. And if we are gripping the outside, it's going to work the inside. Can you come in a little bit? If we're gripping the inside, if we're gripping the inside, it can be held a few different ways. So we want it so the curve is basically digging in, okay? And I'm just going to do a few reps to show you how to do it and then I'm going to show you how not to do it. Go ahead and get a side view so they can see what muscle is being worked. So I'm doing the inside grip so I can see the outside of my bicep is getting a lot of the work. Now, the way you don't want to grip it is where the curved part is upside down and you're gripping underneath. Always where it's out or diagonal and facing you. If I'm going to grip it on the outside, that's going to work the inside of our bicep. One important thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that your elbows are not digging into the pad. What I personally like to do is I like to kind of dig my armpit into the machine. If you dig your elbow into the pad, you'll be able to do a lot more weight and that's probably what you're seeing at your gym. Next time you go to your gym, take a look at these pads and see how tore up they are. And that's how you'll know who's doing it correctly and who's doing it incorrectly. You don't have to necessarily dig your armpit into the pad. My, I personally like to do that. This ensures that you're hitting your bicep. Uh, by digging your elbow into the pad, you can get a lot of elbow pain. You're getting better leverage, which allows you to make the movement that much easier, and that's why you can do more weight. So, again, we're gonna watch, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to demonstrate so you can see how I do this correctly. Again, elbows off the pad. Now, some of your gyms don't have a, a lot of adjustment in the seat. If it doesn't and your elbows are on the pad, it's okay. You, the main thing you want to do is you don't want to be digging your elbows into the pad. So, come on over here to either side. So if my elbow is touching, that's fine. You want your tricep laying up against the machine, not your, not your elbow. This is incorrect. This is the correct way to do it if you can't get in there all the way. That's how to properly do the picture goal. Remember to know what muscles you're working in order to have an optimal workout. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at yourpersonalcoach24 at gmail.com.